Hey guys, Brendoni Productions here, and as promised, um, I'm going to create a tutorial, tutorial right now on how to format your software, or your coding inside your software to make it more organized, making it easier to code, and easier to identify what the code does. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a quick Windows Forms application. Not even going to rename it. Alright, so now that it is loaded, um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a few elements to test out our coding. Uh, the first element we're going to add, we're actually going to make our program do something first. So we're going to make it so when you press a button, all right, when you press a button, the button text changes, and a message box appears. Okay. So to do this, you would double click on the button to enter the coding for the button, so the coding when the button's pressed, and then you would simply just use the message box command and what is going to be in the message box. All right. So now after we did this, we could start formatting our code because this code is very messy. <laughs> not really because there's not that much, but I'm going to show you a couple ways to format the code. The first way to format a code is called commenting. You can actually comment on your code uh, to remind you what the code does. Now, commenting is code that, like, it appears in the coding, but it doesn't actually run. So to insert a comment, we press the little, what would that be called, little asterisk, I guess? Well, no, that's not an asterisk. A apostrophe, apostrophe, that's what it's called. All right, so we enter the apostrophe, and then we can just type whatever we want. So I'm going to say this code displays a message box. And if you'll notice, this text is actually green, which means it is a comment. All right. So now that we got the commenting down, we can actually start our second form of formatting. Now this is the with command, which actually is just with. Now with makes it so say you wanted to do a whole bunch of stuff with button one right you have to do button one dot text equals blah then you wanted to change its visibility and then you wanted to change its enabled button one dot enabled then you wanted to change its color right what, what a pain to type all this right see how every time we're typing button one dot now that's kind of repetitive we can easily fix this problem by using the with command with button one so this is just saying well, we're gonna use button one for all the following coding so button one right here dot text equals dot visible equals false dot back color equals color dot black and then we'll make the dot visible equal true again because we want to be able to see the button and press it again alright and now we're going to use our newest thing to type in some commentary this makes a width block which separates button whoops caps lock <laughs> button one's coding end of width block all right so so far our coding is pretty organized we're not getting confused we're not typing um, anything unnecessarily and we have some commentary going but say this is the coding and we know it works and we don't want to ever use it again okay so so what we're going to do is, since we're totally done with button 1, we don't want anything else to happen when we press the button, we can actually get rid of this code entirely without actually deleting it. Now this is called regioning off a code, or separating code from uh, other places. Now, so what we want to do is actually create a thing called region, which can be made with the pound sign, which is a shift three, then region, then quotation marks, and what you want the region to be named. So this one's region button one. All right, and then you end that by typing pound, 
compound end region. Right? So now we have a region here, and keep in mind that regions can only go on top of a private sub. So the start of the region goes on top of the private sub, and the end of the region goes on the bottom of the end sub. So the sub is inside the region. Now, we just want to get rid of this, right? So we click this little minimize button right up here. Click that, and there we go. Button 1 is in its own little box there. And we could just totally ignore that and make new coding. So let's go ahead and make some new coding. We're actually going to make button 2. Oops, that's a checkbox. Button 2. And we're going to give its text something totally different. Not really, but... All right. So, and we're going to do kind of the same thing with this coding. So, when it's pressed, we're going to message box. This time it's going to be smiley face. And then we're going to change some settings of button 2. So, we're going to use the width command again, with button 2. Dot text equals... Woo! Uh, dot back color equals color dot blue. Dot... Uh, what else can we change on buttons? Let's just leave it at that. So then we have this. Now we're going to enter some commentary. Uh, displays a message box. Starts the with button 2 block. Ends the with block. Now keep in mind, commentary is nice because if you take a project you're working on and you ignore it for several years and then you come back and then you can read all your commentary and know what all the code does, you won't have a problem because you, you know what all the code does so you can just keep on working on it. So you'll never forget what the coding does if you do commentary. Alright, so now this is all set, so now we're going to make this into a new region. Region button 2. Now we're going to end the region at the bottom of the end sub, end region. And then we can just minimize button 2. Now if you notice, now our coding is super organized. We have two things where buttons would work, and uh, they're totally minimized. We don't even see them. But if we undo them, that, that's a lot of coding. Just That's a lot of unnecessary coding to being displayed. So we can just get rid of that again. Now. While it's in regions, the coding actually still works. It's just minimized. So we can go ahead and run the project. And now when we click on this button, the message box appears, and the back color changes to black. If we press this button, the message box appears with a smiley face, and the back color changes to blue, and the text changes to woo. So yeah. That's how you format code in a program to make your coding more organized. So thanks for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for my next tutorial on how to create an updater for your program so people will never be using the, uh, the older version of your programs, maybe the ones that don't work as well. And yes, remember to check in the link or in the description below for links to everything including the advanced text tutorial for this video tutorial. So yes, thanks for watching and have a great day.